Maestro Gaming presents a Wobbly Wagon Wheel production about a nomad man. That man is the Gypsy King. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Maestro Gaming production and welcome to the Estadio Estoroa, where we shall be playing Concepcion in our first game of today's episode. So I'm going to head on over to the dugout and I will hopefully see you fine folks there for the kickoff. Okay, ladies and gents, it is finally kickoff time here in our first game of today's episode. Now, we are only three days since our previous episode match. So that does mean we do have a little bit of issues in terms of fitness. A few guys have some injuries to nursing and thus our team for today is Dabala in goal. We have Subiara at left back, Becerra and Sam Huerta in central defence, Torres of course on the right hand side. Sepulveda has returned into central defensive mid, that means Bezar can move into a central midfield role and joining him today is Riviera. We then have Gonzalez on the right hand side, Lemu on the left and Ginella up front. So our bench, that is Lara, Gutierrez, Rodriguez, Lopez, Aranguiz, Garner and Marino. But without further ado, let's go talk to our assistant and see what he has to say. So what do you have to say, Mr. Jorge Gomez? It would be a good time to remind the team the pressure is off. I believe that is not a bad idea. Except the pressure really isn't off. This is a game that we should really be winning. So, hmm, do we have a relic? Uh, we don't have a revenge talk, I don't think. So, I guess we could climb up the relegation zone with a win. I expect nothing less. You know what? We're going to do that assertively. We can move out of relegation. Hmm, really? Would huge underdogs? You know what? Passionately. You ever found someone to share about? I know we're away. That has cheered up one player. But give our travelling support something to cheer about. But as you can see, this 30,000 seat stadium is looking rather barren. So I don't know how many away supporters we'll actually have. It doesn't seem like the home supporters can even bother to turn up here. But Fabian Edda of Goal, an enthusiastic fellow who we have no relationship with, says... Universidad de Concepcion, recent struggles have them 13th in the form table. Is this chance to pile on the misery? Well, you keep going on about our terrible form, so hopefully it is, but I don't think you have much in the way of expectation for us now, do you? It's definitely an opportunity for us. Yeah, show what we're capable of. Is Alexi Torres fit enough? I hope so. We're pretty confident. Fingers crossed. We can hold out. How much of a boost is Rubio's absence? Well, I can't deny it makes things easier, but they're a good team. Still going to be a tough fixture. So, let's get this game started, ladies and gents. Like I said, this is going to be a very big episode because we do need to pick up some results against these two teams today. Minimum four points, I reckon, is what we need. So, if we can pick up a win in this opening game, that would be a lovely start. As you can see, we are two points behind Everton. Now, this is game in hand, I believe. Because, yeah, they're already on 20 games. We are now on 20 games, playing this one. So, need to do something with it. Ooh, Dybala, though, tips it onto the bar. That was scary. I thought he was going to tip it into the top corner for a second. But we managed to escape, and we are going to... You know what? Demand more. I'm sorry, lads, but I need to be a bit harsh on you. And they appreciate it. This is the sort of game we need to do something with. So come on, Lemo. Big free kick. Middle. Headed away. But Ganella collects. Plays it out to Lemo. Plenty of space. Can he get a cross in? No, he has been tripped, though, by Espinosa. And we have a penalty, ladies and gents. Come on, Lemo. Put the penalty away. Be a hero. Do us a big favour in our chance of surviving. No. Lemo. Why? That's why he's not in the starting team, ladies and gents. He is useless. He can't even score from the penalty spot. 
But now they have a dangerous free kick. Whipped in, back post. It is away, but only as far as Diaz. He plays it to Oporto. Now on the edge of the area with Amaria. And get it away. Thank you, Torres. Dybala is scaring me with these. He's not holding them. He's simply pushing them away. It's working out, but... A lot of heart-in-mouth moments right now. But it looks like we are going into half time at nil nil, and they picked up an injury to their right back. That is useful. They've had to waste a substitution on that. That is nice to see, but that not so much. That is terrible to see. In fact, Christian Amarilla with his second goal of the season, assisted by Diaz. So we go into half time, 1 0 down. They've had nine shots, we've had five. Four on target to our three. Nine fouls to our nine, zero yellow cards, two yellow cards. 40% possession, 260. We are, of course, the only game going on. Their best performer has, of course, been Amarillo with that one goal and a 7.1. For us, it's Dabala. He's had three shots saved and a 6.8 as a result. Struggling to perform for them is Espinosa. He, of course, was the guy who gave us the penalty. Unfortunately, Lemo is a lemon. So, he's got a 0% crossing completion ratio and a 6.4. And for us is the one and only Lemo who missed the penalty with his 0 crossing completion ratio and a 6.0. So, without further ado, let's go talk to Jorge, who thinks we should really sympathise with the team after that performance. I'm sorry, Jorge, I cannot be accepting 6s, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.5. No. The other guys, doing a decent job. But... As a team, we are doing awful, so I'm assertively going to tell the lads, I expect to see a much better second half. I, phase out, really. You are one of the underperformers, and you're the one who's demotivated. That is not what we need from you when we are trying to battle our way out of relegation, my friend. So, in fact, very attacking, because we are currently behind. We want to push on up. I'll drop it back to regular attacking, not even positive. If we manage to tie things up. But first of all we need to win the ball back. Lemo plays it out to Bezar. Bezar back to Sepulveda. And it's with Riviera. Lovely ball over to Ganella. Heads it down for Gonzalez. Crossfield ball doesn't deliver it to anyone. It's with Espinosa now. Now with Saldias. And it is cleared upfield. It's intercepted though. Lemo to Ganella. Bezar now to Sepulveda. Riviera in possession now with Gonzalez. Not the greatest of finishes, though, Gonzalez. So, we have a throwing. Torres to Riviera. Back to Torres once more. Coming down this right-hand side. Plays it back to Riviera. Torres in space. Tries one over to Ganella. Intercepted, though. Camarago plays it back to Ballon. Ballon holding possession nicely for Camarallo. And it is back with Ballon once more. Just walking towards us. Nice interception by Torres. Ball over the top. It is to nobody, though. He just passed it straight to the goalkeeper. Come on, hunt this down, Ganella. <gasps> what? I don't know what I just witnessed. What? Okay. So, it goes through his legs. I don't know why he took a knee. Um, maybe he shouldn't be doing protests in the middle of a football match? That's the only explanation I've got for him taking a knee right there. Because that was puzzling, to say the least. That was definitely against the run of play. I can't say we deserve to score a goal like that, but I shall take it. That has been an interesting one. We are, of course, going to take off some players who are underperforming right now, though. Our defence doing a decent job. We do need to get the support to Ganella, who is playing okay. So, Lemo, both of our wingers, in fact, are struggling. Bezar is also struggling. So, you know what? Triple sub. Let's get those three players off the pitch. We can risk Becerra with his 6.6. .6. We don't need to worry about that so much. So, Gorner, come on for Lemo. We can then bring on Lopez on the opposite wing. Now, Lopez can play as an inverted on support. Didn't mean to pull that up, but a winger shall do for him. We then have 
Faranguiz. Now, what would you like to be, my friend, when you grow up? No, he just wants to be a playmaker. That is okay, because we can swap Riviera over. We can make him our playmaker. We'll make him advanced on support. We'll then swap you over to being box to box. And hopefully that shall turn our luck around. As you can see, we did have quite a bit of luck in our goal. So hopefully that can carry on for the remainder of the game. And we can steal a victory here, ladies and gents. Come on, let's do this. One more goal. That's all we need. One more. I'll take a draw. A draw would be nice. But after scoring in that fashion, I would like to steal today's game. Especially after we managed to miss that penalty. Lemo. Lovely save. Torres gets it away. And it is the 78th minute. They have another opportunity here though. Whips it in. Lovely collection by Dybala though. As the rain falls down on today's game. Becerra though. Becerra plays up to Riviera. Now with Sepulveda. Nice ball over to Gunella. Plays it back to Aranguiz. Aranguiz. Lovely ball over the top to Gunella. One on one with the goalkeeper. Come on Gonzalez. Gonzalez? Gunella. Too many G's. Too many G's in today's game. But Ginella with the corner whips it in. It is cleared away though and it should be collected by Torres. Torres collects it, keeps it in and doesn't make any mistakes. That's the end of the highlight. So we have a couple of nervous players. The lads are doing pretty darn good, I must say. And we are into 92nd. 90. Ooh, last minute corner from them. Please don't concede now. This would be heartbreaking. Blocked. Hunt it down. Don't let him get it back into the box, please. Please, it's past time. Yes, it's wide. I will take a draw. This has been lovely. And we have managed to hold on and get said draw. So it is Concepcion 1, Puerto Montt 1. They had 15 shots. We had 9. 7 on target to our 5. 12 fouls to our 14. 0 yellow cards to 4 yellow cards. 41% possession to our 59. Now their best performer was Amarilla with that one goal and a 7.3. For us was Ganella with that one goal and a 7.4. Now he's probably not going to score any more lucky goals than that one ever. But Espinosa was their struggling player. He got a 0% crossing completion ratio. Gave away the penalty, which could have got us a goal earlier on. But we will forget about that. He got a 6.3. Although I say that, Lemo was, of course, our struggling performer. With his 0 crossing completion ratio also and a 6.1. He did at least pick it up a little bit, even if it was a 0.1 from the first half. But that does mean the player of the match goes to Ganella with his 7.4 rating and one goal. So, Jorge Gomez thinks we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. You know what? I am. I'm going to tell the lads well done on proving a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat out there. Not the most positive message, but it's positive nevertheless. So, that means we have finally... I say finally. We are... Currently on five matches without a win. I <laughs> jumped again a little bit there. But that does mean we have at least ended our losing streak, I should say. As you can see, all them losses in a row. We finally managed to break that portion. Now we just need to break the portion where we actually get some victories. And hopefully we can do that in the next game as we play 14th in the league. Everton de Vina. Who is, of course, same amount of games as us, two points away. So if we can pick up a victory, we will go at least above them. And hopefully Serena wastes their game and we can go above them too. So without further ado, I'm going to head on over to our stadium. Where I'll hopefully see you fine folks for the second game in just a second. Okay, ladies and gents, it is time to kick off the second game of today's episode. Of course, we are at home against Everton de Vina. And, well, we have a few changes to the lineup. So we have a Hernandez coming back in at central midfield. That does mean Riviera moves over to the left-hand side because Bezar has been dropped to the bench. His performance in that previous game, rather disappointing. So I thought, you know what, we'll let Riviera 
slide on over to the left hand side. Bezar can come off the bench if Riviera is struggling. And well, Lemu somehow managed to survive. He's on the left hand side with Daniel on the right. He comes in for Gna Gonzalez. And well, we have Ganella up front. That means our bench consists of Lara, Gutierrez, Rodriguez, Lopez, Bezar, Gonzalez, and Marino. But without further ado, let's head on into the dressing room and talk to Jorge because he has a lot to say. So, Jorge Gomez thinks we should encourage team. We can move out of the relegation zone if we can win and results elsewhere go our way. So, you know what? Passionately, we have a chance to move out of the relegation zone with a win. So I'm expecting nothing less. You know what? I'm going to get aggressive. We need some aggression in this dressing room. So, we have a chance to move out of the relegation zone. I'm expecting nothing less. This is a game we need to win. If we are not going to go down, we need victory here. So let's go out there, get this victory, and let's do it now. So Diego Lobos of the Puerto Montt Football Messenger, an enthusiastic fellow who is very indifferent about us, says Gonzalez Sepulveda takes the captain's armband today. What do you see in him as a leader? Well, he's a 33-year-old experienced midfielder who is highly influential in the dressing room. So I think he's a pretty darn good choice. Not just under these circumstances, but under any. We have him with all his experience and he shall hopefully invest that into the youngsters and get us out of this mess. But right now, we are not holding possession very well. Thomas, not the tank engine. We are putting him under pressure. Throws it out, Zuna. It is with Quavers, not the Crisps. And it's now on the right hand side with Urizmendi. Urizmendi plays it back to Rodriguez. Whips one in. Get it away. Torres, no, that touch. Torres. Just let the ball go. Why did he need to keep that in? Torres, what is wrong with you? Very attacking. I'm sorry. We need to go all out. Show some passion. Torres, I am going to come and slap you in a minute. I don't care if they send me off to the stand or get me out of the stadium completely. I'm going to come and slap you on that pitch. I do not appreciate that particular incident. Daniel, though, intercepts it. Lovely ball to Ganella. Come on, Ganella. Please save us. Go on, LA, you handsome man. I love you. That was brilliant. We are going to stay... Attacking? Maybe? Yes, attacking. We need a win. I was thinking positive, but no. We'll go attacking. That is, of course, Ganella's ninth goal of the season, assisted by Ariel Daniel. Did the lovely effort of intercepting the goal kick. Plays a lovely through ball to Ganella, who plays it across face the goal. Don't know why the goalkeeper didn't attempt to dive. But as a tank engine, they don't tend to fall over very often. So, as you can see, it is 1-1. 23 minutes in, and we have an interesting game, ladies and gents. Hernandez now plays it to Daniel. Oh, Sanjuaza to Ganella. Riviera now coming inside. Will he hold it up? Does. Plays it back to Hernandez, in fact, who whips one over to the left hand side. Lemo gets past his man. Can he get a good cross in? Whips it in. Daniel. Oh, come on. We've got a second, lads. We've got a second goal. And it is through Ariel Daniel. Second goal of the season, assisted by Ignacio Lemo. And what a beautiful goal it was. Lemo touches it past the right hand sided defender, whips it in. Daniel on the volley, left footed into the left hand side of the goal. A beautiful effort. All round, as you can see, our three front men doing the job today. We are doing a fantastic effort. The only disappointment, of course, is Torres who went and gifted them the opening goal. But we have seemed to turn it around. Come on, Lemo. Danielle. Oh, that partnership is looking lovely today. Almost got a second. But it looks like we are going into halftime 2-1, which we are. And I am very happy right now. So we've had eight shots. They've had two. 
five on target to their two. Six fouls to nine. One yellow card to one yellow card. 51% possession to 49. Now, our best performer is Ariel Daniel. He's got one goal and a 7.6 rating. There's is Sanchez, Pedro, in fact, with one goal and a seven rating. Struggling to perform is Alexis Torres. He's got a 6.3 and a 0% crossing completion ratio. For them is Juan Quavers. The one and the only Quavers. Not like the crisps though. 6.4 also a 0% crossing completion ratio. As you can see we are the only game going on right now. So we are going to just skip past that. We don't have any games for you to look at over then our game. So, Jorge Gomez thinks we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. And I think that is a reasonable assertion to make. The team has been doing a good job. So, you know what? Passionately, things are going well. I know you can fall better. Front free, maybe not so much. But you guys at the back, you need to pick it up. Especially you, Torres. I'm looking at you right now. And a bit of good sign here currently out of the relegation zone now this particular team has a game in hand and i'm not sure which of the teams above us it is with but whilst we're out the relegation zone that is always a nice sign and being above everton does mean even if they win we won't be bottom of the league so all good in the hood ladies and gents as you can see hernandez is having a rough game though so what we are going to do is, Riviera, you can swap over to that side. You will become our deep line playmaker. You will sit a little deeper though. We shall then bring on Bezar. Now Bezar, he likes to be a ball winning midfielder. So we shall put him defensive. We're going to basically keep all these back. Keep it up to these three and hopefully that shall work out. So who else is struggling? So we are examining a rough one. We really need to get Torres off with that 6.2 he is struggling so Gutierrez come on on that side he wants to be a fullback I think he'll be okay as a wing back let's just have a little look at his stats so wing back defense is okay on everything really anticipation and off the ball aren't great but he's working on the off the ball that's going well crossing dribbling I don't worry about his crossing so much dribbling our team just isn't great at uh, he can do. He'll do. He is adequate, I would say. Now, Subiara is having a rough one. I could swap him out. I don't want to risk swapping two defenders out there when we have a one goal lead. So we will refrain from doing that. I could take Sanhuesa, put him on the wing, but he's performing very well in that central role. So we're just going to leave the defence besides taking off Torres who is, of course, having a terrible time. Sepulveda, though, a little bit nervous. That is not a good sign. Daniel's condition is trash right now. But the one and only Cortez has taken a bit of a knock. But we have seven minutes to work with, ladies and gents. Seven minutes to hold out. Riviera, can he whip in? Lemo, come on, Lemo, we've got a fed. We have finally secured a victory Surely we're not going to throw this one away. Two goal lead. Seven. Basically six minutes left. Whatever additional time. Maybe four. I don't know. But about ten minutes is what we have to hold on. And well, I can't see us throwing away this lead. Surely not. Glad I didn't use up our substitutes though. Because we've just taken an injury to Ariel Danielle. Who has been a key part of this team. So... Lopez or Gonzalez? We have Gonzalez. He's two and a half star. He prefers to be on that wing, but I think Lopez is a better quality player. No, actually, he's only two and a half star too. He likes to be an inverted winger. So we've got an inverted winger or a regular winger. Now, I think I'll just go with a regular winger. Swap you to being a regular winger. Put him on support. That will do... I hope Daniel is not out for too long. Because Daniel is a major part of this team. Lemo though, look at that. Nine rating by Lemo. And what a beautiful effort it was from the entire squad. 
We win here today, 3-1 against Everton Davina. We had 13 shots, they had 5. 8 on target in the end to their 3. 12 fouls to 20 fouls, 1 yellow card to 4 yellow cards, 52% possession to 48. Our best performer, of course, was Lemo today. He went from the bottom and now he's at the top. 1 goal and a 9 rating. For them was Sanchez, he got 1 goal and a 7. Struggling to perform was Torres. He had a very hard game. Got a 6.2 and a 0% crossing completion ratio. For them was Lesu Sema. He got a 6.3 and no reason for it. As you can see, there was a few different milestones in today's game. So feel free to pause it and look at them if you are interested. But Lemo gets the player of the match. 9 rating, 1 goal and 1 assist. Can't ask for much more from the man. So, Jorge Gomez, thanks for let the team know we appreciate their efforts. I do indeed. I'm going to be passionate. I'm going to tell them happy with the result and the way they played. Because that showed some heart. That showed us we are a team that wants to stay up. We're not going down without a fight. And as you can see, we currently sit outside of the relegation zone. But we have two more big fixtures in the next game, I believe. So, we play 11th place. And then the team that is currently directly above us in 13th. But I thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.